Hey everyone, Flatmeister here. I've got a top 10 list of... Because it's, it's near um, Halloween, it's October. I figured I'd do a top 10 list of uh, my, mem my top 10 most memorable freaky sounds in video games. Now, sound design is a big part of video games. It plays a key role. It helps immerse. It provides atmosphere for a game. So many games that you could uh, list off of several hands. Starting off from number 10. It's the Scary Maze game. This was when the uh, the internet again was still quite young. And flash animations and silly little internet games. And uh, millennials. <laughs> Most people probably don't have never heard of the Scary Maze game. So you're playing this sort of crudely uh, made little game playing seems innocent enough pretty easy oh don't hit a wall though <laughs> yep you get that right in the face big ass scream with a scary looking face and now i've got your now that i've got your attention <laughs> number nine metal gear solid the alert sound now, uh, obviously, like the early Metal Gear Solid games were sort of top-down or sort of isometric. Not, yeah, kind of. Like the camera was, because obviously it was limited on the PS One, like the limited technical hardware. It was quite limited of what they could do. You couldn't turn the camera around, and so you had to really actually take your time with the game. But if you turn a corner too quickly, and you end up face first in front of an enemy soldier. <laughs> yep, he spots you. And that, that noise will... Uh, it makes you jump, it does. And then it, it kicks in with the music, the, the tense music of the people, you know, the soldiers chasing you. Coming at you at number eight. There's a bloody landmine beep in the Fallout games. You're just running around the wasteland, la 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 la, mind your own business, killing a few bandits here and there, picking up some loot, and uh, then you hear this anonymous beep going, and then bang! Suddenly your character's dead, your limbs are flying off in slow motion. Scares the living crap out of you. You're trying to desperately search where the mine is. Like, oh, where is it? 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 Number seven. Now this, this song, or the, this, this little music, um, sting, musical sting, uh, striked fear in in kids when they played Sonic the Hedgehog. Is the uh, the drowning the drowning music? Bloody scared the hell out of me. You're sort of, yeah, working your way through the level, and then the music starts to kick up a notch and it's getting more and more tense. <laughs> and you're like, oh, desperately trying to um, jump up and trying to get up. It scared the living hell out of you as a kid. It was really intense. I freaked the hell out of me. <laughs> I freaked the hell out of a lot of um, other people when they were kids. Number six. Is the Left 4 Dead tank music. Now, um, with the Left 4 Dead games, each of the enemy types has like... Because the game has what's called the AI director. It affects everything from like mood to what enemies to throw at you or which items to spawn in in places depending on how easy or how difficult you're progressing throughout the level. It's quite a quite a clever AI system. And uh, yeah, so each of the enemy types had a different musical sting. piece you had uh, 
like when the horde would come after you, it was this big orchestral, um, or when the hunters, the one that sort of they stalk you and and then they jump and pounce on you, it plays this weird little piano piece. But when the tank comes. <laughs> You just, doom, doom, doom. the screen starts to shake and you hear this, and you hear this pounding of its fist, like it's coming along and you don't know which direction it's coming from. <laughs> until it's too late, until you're on the floor and your whole team, might, your team gets completely wiped out. So yeah, that music really scares the living shit out of you. When that music kicks in, like, where's the tank? Who's got some Molotov cocktails? Who's got some shotguns? <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Going back in time, back to nine, no, two thousand. This game came out. Number five is Resident Evil Three Nemesis. The Nemesis. Stars. 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 <laughs> you are uh, again. This it creates panicking you this big hulking like 12 foot um tall uh, bio bio weapon this sort of this big humanoid he's got like it's made of all this weird flesh that's in like this weird black leather boiler suit with big clonking boots he's got these humongous palms that have like tentacles that come out of his arms He's got a rocket launcher and he runs after you. And the thing is with the old Resident Evil games, when you would go for a door, it would do like a little loading screen, like a transition animation where it would show a pre-rendered 3D door of the door that you'd approach and it'd go open up and you'd go through. And, uh, and you'd go into sort of the next area. But the nemesis could follow you through like several doors and that was fucking terrifying as like a teen. Like, oh, he's coming after me. Like, after a while, he would um, give up. He's bloody terrifying, the um, the nemesis. When you heard that, stars. 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 Number four. Bioshock. Do not piss off a big daddy. Bioshock, I, I go on about this game quite a lot because, well, it is a, uh, quite a masterpiece in storytelling, level design, art style, uh, sort of themes and concepts as well. And uh, so it's not just a bog standard first person shooter, like you had sort of your abilities. And then you also had a mechanic of the protector and gatherer, which was the big daddies and the little sisters. The little sisters were these little girls. Uh, um, sort of possessed little girls that had a, a sl some kind of sea slug in their stomach that could process this genetic material that was used to create these special abilities that all of the citizens of Rapture have. And they are protected by what's called a big daddy. Is uh, They're like these weird, like men that have been like grafted, they've like been grafted into like a deep sea diving suit. And they've been like sort of psychologically like brainwashed into and conditioned into protecting little sisters. They go along like making these sort of almost like whale noises. They go, mm. as soon as you get too close and you piss one off, mm. and the little sister, whoa, those um, little portholes, those little um, portholes on the helmet, they go from green to red. You've pissed off, and it screams. It screams at you and roars. The screen blurs up, and they're fast. They move bloody fast. Like some of, the, like the big daddies have those. Um, they've got like a, a drill on their on one of their arms, or like the Rosies. They've got like a, a like a different version in which they've got like a rivet gun that shoot these massive bolts at you. There's all these sort of other different types in like Bioshock One and Two. There was some like variations. But yeah, when you heard. When you pissed off a big daddy, you you knew about it. There was no hiding from one of them. 
Oh, and this is quite a hard list, right? <laughs> The number three. It's alien isolation. When the xenomorph dropped from a vent. You heard that noise again. Sometimes the the motion detector wasn't helpful. Like if you were in a vent, it would blur up and it wouldn't have like a clear signal. But you heard that vent that vent noise if you're walking along and it drops down in front of you. You have to use all your gadgets and your, your wits about you to work your way and sneak your way past the xenomorph because it will mess you up. Even after, you, even when you get the the flamethrower, <laughs> it'll still mess you up. But yeah, hearing that 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 noise of the of it dropping down from a vent. Or if you're inside a vent and you hear it clambering, you hear the metal creaking and it's clambering through and it scares the shit out of you. I mean, the Sevastopol station is already really creepy in atmosphere with like the sounds of creaking metal from this um, old decrepit space station that's being gradually pulled into the, the gravity well of, um, of the gas giant that it's orbiting. We're gonna die here. You know that, right? <laughs> Yeah, bloody terrifying. But honestly, play early in isolation. Really cool game. Number two. Dead Space 2, the Suiciders. Well, they're called the Exploders, like they're all sort of different names for the Necromorphs. But the the Exploders, they were these weird sort of um, like zombie that had like a, a glowing yellow-orange biomass on one of their hands. And when they would come out of a vent and enter whichever room or corridor you're in, you would hear this horrific sound. <laughs> and it would scare the living shit out of you because their attack is they they make a noise and then they swing their arm down and the arm explodes and it can it can it can one shot kill you depending on the difficulty you're playing on, right? You hear that noise, and again, it's instant panic. Like, oh, where is it? <laughs> again, all of these sounds, they seem to instill this fear and panic in you as a gamer. Yeah, Dead Space, I wish they'd make a Dead Space 4. But, um, yeah, in Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3, there was the Exploder Necromorphs. And the worst ones were the Regenerators. Like, you'd shoot a limb off and they'd grow back again, and they're just chase after you i like the net like the nemesis in resident evil 3 and uh so anyway finally at number one again i found it really hard to like number like or rate these sounds uh but one that really really sticks to me to this day is max Payne, the uh the pink flamingo scream so max Payne is your sort of typical hard-boiled detective it's like a sort of action uh movie uh max Payne. my wife was murdered so he's going through killing all these mafia um sort of these mafia crew and there's sort of there's this whole conspiracy over this drug called v which can 
give you hallucinations and stuff, right? And previously, spoilers, Max says, well, you find out at the start of the game, really, Max's wife and child get killed. And uh, so you're going along down the streets and you come across this window of this apartment. Look at it, you can either go in and kill the the enemies inside or you can sort of sit outside the window and there's this TV show called the the pink flamingo it's like this guy who's narrating who's all his life almost reflects max Payne and is intentional and this uh, pink flamingo is speaking in a weird voice going um mirrors are more fun than television <laughs> speaking in a weird voice and then it just lets out this horrific elongated scream you can speak here it says somehow i know this just don't ask me how and then something goes wrong and suddenly they know i'm there hiding behind them and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes and the flamingo speaks again i have no idea what that means That's when I always wake up to my own screen in that bright lily white hospital room strapped to my bed. And it just sends chills down your spine and makes your hair stand on end. And I found out it's actually Max Payne's baby that when it was crying and when it was killed. It that's that's the baby scream sound effect, but it's being it's being like distorted. So you had a really creepy really 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 creepy uh sound effects so yeah that's my top that's like my top 10 most memorable and sort of freaky sounds or or music from games i want to know what your thought on my on my list was um also comment down what your most memorable freaky sounds are you know sounds that really chill you to the bone make your your hairs on your arms stand up or make you shudder all sort of cringe like that but yeah i really want to know um so yeah do all that like and subscribe and sharing stuff the bell ticking stuff all the hoops that youtube makes you jump through to get my content um and also don't forget every wednesdays 11 p.m gmt is the flat pack show it's an hour or so long uh topical um episodes we uh we have one topic that we talk about each week um me Switch point, crumble point, and nerd waffle. We are the flat pack, and uh, be cool if you can join us live, or if you watch the playlist. I've got got it on the playlist, the flat pack show. Um, check out our older episodes; they're evergreen as always. So yeah, I've been flat my style. Catch in the next video. I hope you liked my top ten freaky sounds in video games. <laughs> See you later. No one but you will be able to hear it. Ah!